So in this recording, we are going to talk about halo therapy. And let me first tell you what halo therapy is. It is exposure to kinetically activated dry salt. Here at Awesome, we use pharmaceutical grade salt because your body cannot absorb minerals um, other than salt through the lungs. And so when you have pink Himalayan salt, it's great and it's beautiful and it makes you feel all kinds of good. But if you're breathing in minerals into your lungs that your body's not made to take in, it can actually do less good than you're hoping to achieve. So we use pharmaceutical grade salt in our halo therapy cabins to make sure it is just the purest, best form of salt for your body to utilize for its healing purposes. The micro-sized salt particles in a halo cabin are inhaled, while the large salt particles are spread on the surface of your skin. Since dry salt is antibacterial and super absorbent, it actively kills bacteria and reduces inflammation in the respiratory system and opens the airway for better breathing. Medical studies in Europe have confirmed that the benefits of halo therapy are accumulative. In other words, they build on one another. Many adults and children suffering from asthma, allergies, cystic fibrosis, COPD, or other respiratory conditions found that two to three halo sessions per week helped manage respiratory problems and reduce the intake of respiratory medicines. So my dad has had pneumonia um, every year of his life, it seems, since he was a young kid. And a few years ago, he came in and I could hear it, it was happening, and I said, Dad, please let me put you in the halo cabin. And um, he would end up on major medications or even in the hospital, so it was a big deal. And um, he said, well, okay, I'll try anything. So I put him in the halo cabin, and we did halo therapy every day for six days. And (laughs) he never ended up in the hospital. He didn't even end up on the major antibiotics that he normally has to take. And now he calls it my magic salt box. (laughs) So that's been really, really cool. Um, It's always great when you can help out your own people with um, anything that with your knowledge, with your experience and expertise. So that was really a happy day. So if you have anybody who deals with pneumonia or those kinds of things, uh, this might be a good alternative to maybe, um, you know, before you go for other things. So with COVID, um, these days, so many people are, are worried about getting COVID and, um, and also just dealing with the after effects of COVID. So here's what we've seen with this here at Awesome. We have a number of guests who have had COVID. They're now COVID free, but they're still dealing with the after effects in their lungs. Personally, when I got it, I ended up with walking pneumonia. Um, And so being able to come into the halo cabins has made just a huge difference in the um, bounce back, if you will, of our guests here. I was just visiting a few minutes ago with a friend of mine who um, her husband just died from COVID actually, and she did have COVID. She's COVID free now, but um, just she feels obviously sad and heavy. Um, And the salt therapy has not only helped with just kind of giving her a safe place to cry and feel safe with all the negative ions that are in the room, but it's also really helped her lungs to start to regenerate. Um, We've seen that multiple times with multiple guests that we are hearing after they've had COVID and are COVID free and are coming back to awesome. They're just seeing incredible benefits from the halo therapy. So It's what we've seen. I don't know if it will be the case for you or for those that you love, but these are some of the things that we have personally seen here at Awesome. Also, interestingly enough, saw something on Fox News recently that said that salt kills viruses and they're starting to put salt into masks because as the air passes through it, the salt somehow breaks down that virus. So that will be something that we'll continue to watch here at Awesome but um, interesting, interesting in the news. So, all right, let's talk about where we get halo therapy or dry salt therapy from. It originates from speleotherapy, so a cave therapy, and the Wielitska Salt Cave in Poland is where 
it originated. They noticed that workers in the salt caves exhibited fewer respiratory illnesses than those who worked in coal mines. And so they would actually send coal miners to work in the salt mines um, in order to help them breathe better and to be healthier. Now, there are thousands of salt rooms like the ones that you see here at Awesome in Europe and beyond. Um, they are becoming quite popular here in the United States. We brought these in several years ago and there were about 50 of them. Now there are so many and it's awesome because we're able to help so many people with tons tons of issues so it just makes me so happy to see these popping up all over the place the benefits of salt therapy are wide ranging salt levels affect our cell activity energy and blood sugar levels and we've definitely seen the energy part here at awesome it's a natural disinfectant salt is antimicrobial and antibacterial the negatively charged ions in salt improve our health and mood inhaling particles may reduce inflammation and mucus in the lungs, improving respiratory conditions such as asthma, allergies, bronchitis, sinus congestion, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder or disease, otherwise known as COPD. Scientific studies show that people with asthma and other ailments breathe easier after halo therapy. So that's one really interesting thing. We had um, several nurses that came over from a local hospital. We had given them free visits and they came over to use them and they said, we just thought this was kind of a funny joke and we just thought, oh, we'll go over and try this out. But they they came, we gave them an awesome experience. They did the halo therapy and all four of them had asthma. We didn't know that obviously and it was kind of bizarre to us that all four would have asthma but they did and they all said that they felt like they had taken an albuterol uh, treatment but they didn't have the shakes and they became believers they're some of our biggest fans they come to awesome all the time so it's really really cool to have seen medical professionals really kind of change their tune a little bit after they experienced what they experienced here at awesome is that true for everybody no i'm sure it's not but at least for these nurses who are pretty in tune with their respiratory systems it was so that makes us happy the calming and detoxifying effects of halo therapy can support the immune nervous and lymphatic systems additional benefits are reduced stress and headaches increased energy and better sleep patterns Salt ions purify the air and may increase lung capacity and reduce physical ailments for adults, children, and athletes. Treatments are recommended to help keep the body healthy during flu or allergy season. Now, one thing that we love about these salt cabins is if we have somebody who's just really high with anxiety or um, stress, um, headaches, those kinds of things, we will put them into a halo cabin when they come and it's just so cool to see how they just kind of decompress how they just will calm down um, and be able to just kind of focus on what's really important right in front of them instead of just be all over the place we have also really seen cool things with teenagers so we've had you know anxiety in teens is really really high right now and um We've seen parents come in with their teenagers and tell us they've had some of the best conversations they've had with those teens, either in the salt cabins or after they've left. Uh, my friend that I was telling you about a few minutes ago, she has found that um, that her husband passed away, that the salt therapy has just been one of the best places for her to just be able to feel safe and have a good cry. So salt therapy isn't just for respiratory issues, it's also for emotional because of the negative ions and we'll talk about that um, in another recording that we'll put at the end of this so that you can hear it all in one but anyways I just want you to know it's more for more than just for um, respiratory issues so skin conditions let's talk about that for a minute skin conditions can also be improved with halo therapy psoriasis rashes eczema and acne experts note that the concentration of particles in halo therapy is about 10 to 15 times the concentration found by the sea so a 30 to 45 minute session is equal to about three days by the sea there are close to 
200 salt rooms or beds in the U.S. This was a couple of years ago, actually, when this uh, information was given out, so it's even more now. But testimonials from clients do support the health claims, um, and many say that they have less need for inhalers and decongestants, but also um, for skin. We've had a number of moms bring in their littles to um, to use it for... Um, their baby's skin, whether it's eczema or um, we've had several who have just really bad allergies and break out in hives and they'll come in, strip their babies down to their diapers in the children's halo cabin and just let them play for 30 minutes and it's made a huge difference for them. Um, and I know for me, if I have an acne breakout and actually a lot of my staff, um, if we break out the halo cabin and a little red light, holy cow, it's just absolutely incredible. So I hope this has helped you learn a little bit more about halo therapy. Um, I also want to note that this is an incredible therapy for pregnant moms because our lung capacity is diminished when we're pregnant and our body is under a lot of stress. Putting your body into a zero gravity position, which we'll also talk about in uh, another recording that I'll attach to this, between the zero gravity therapy, the light therapy, and the halo therapy, this is just absolutely incredible for pregnant moms just releases a lot of that stress and tension in their bodies and really helps them to to be able to feel some peace and some calm so anyways I hope this has helped and uh, keep listening for the other um, information that we'll add to the end of this recording to teach you about zero gravity and light therapy thanks and have an awesome day we are going to talk about zero gravity therapy. So let's start with zero gravity chairs. This chair does not defy gravity. You're not going to fly off into the atmosphere, nor does the chair hover or float. <laughs> zero gravity has to do with the reclined position that this chair can assume while you're in it. This position mimics the posture that astronauts take during liftoff on space missions because astronauts endure intense and sudden increases in gravity while escaping the Earth's gravitational pull. It's important that they position themselves so that their bodies can deal with the increase in stress. By assuming a reclined position, astronauts distribute the stress of takeoff across their bodies in a safe way. To that end, the chairs astronauts sit in during launch use this reclined configuration. Zero gravity puts the human body into a heightened state of relaxation as well. It decreases the pressure on all the joints. The zero gravity position cushions sore muscles and decreases muscle tension throughout the body. It makes you feel weightless, stress-free, and energized. So let's talk about the benefits to different parts and systems of the body. So first, the back. The zero gravity position results in a neutral position of the spine where gravitational forces do not affect it. Its design supports the natural curves of the spine along with the upper and lower back, thus reducing muscle tension in the back and neck, which can reduce pain. Zero gravity reduces strain on your vertebra, reducing back pain. Because the body is evenly supported, the spine has a chance to relax and decompress, allowing valuable nutrients the opportunity to enter the normally compacted spinal cord and heal damaged tissues. Circulation. The zero gravity position reduces the strain on the heart, improving circulation and raising blood oxygen levels. In a zero gravity position, the blood flow from the heart changes when a human is in an upright position. The heart is required to work against the force of gravity to pump blood to the extremities. In a reclined position, the situation is obviously reversed. Blood flows into the heart with the support of gravity as opposed to against it, essentially accommodating the heart's natural function. Lungs. When an open angle is created between the torso and the thighs, more space is created for the diaphragm to expand. This results in an increase of oxygen from the air and expanded lungs and promotes deeper breathing. All of these things will allow for a better blood flow, uh, bringing more oxygen to all parts of your body. There is an article that we have in our binders on negative ions that's called Beating a case of BODs, B-O-D-S. Negative ions may be an answer to the video blahs. Now, what is BODs? BODs is Video Operator Distress Syndrome. And it's something that's really pre prevalent. A lot of people are dealing with it. And it makes us um, 
it really makes us struggle. Okay, so just a couple of other scientific studies that we have in the binder. There is, of course, more information than this, but in 1995, in the Journal of Alternative and Comparative Medicine, which is a journal of the Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center, the results of a study that they did um, were reported in several different places, but also on CBS News with Connie Chung. There were two researchers that conducted a study of the impact of negative ion therapy on people suffering from seasonal affective disorder, um, winter depression, the blues. Um, it's a, a it's an issue that is often um, symptomatically indistinguishable from all year round depression. Researchers believe that the biology of seasonal affective disorder, or SAD, is very similar to that of all-year depression. Hence, the same antidepressant drugs such as Prozac or Zoloft are used to treat both. So the study was conducted in a double-blind fashion and divided clinically depressed subjects into two groups. The subject in the first group were treated for 30 minutes a day for 20 days with a low-density ion generator that produced around 10,000 ions per cubic centimeter. And that was the control group. And then the subjects in the second group were treated for 30 minutes a day for 20 days with a high density ion generator that produced 2,700,000 ions per cubic centimeter. And they were the experimental group. The remission or cure um, used was a 50% or greater reduction in symptom frequency and severity using the seasonal affective disorder version of the Hamilton Depression Rating Scale. So all of this is very scientific. Um, the results of the study shocked the medical community. While a low-density negative ion generator provided little benefit, uh, but remember they were also only there for 20 minutes a day, a high-density negative ion generator gave relief from depression comparable to that given by Prozac and other antidepressants without drug side effects. That was a big deal. So in the magazine Whole Self in the spring of 1991, there was an article that was entitled Ions and Consciousness. Ions, it explains, are charged particles in the air that are formed when enough energy acts upon a molecule such as carbon dioxide, oxygen, water, or nitrogen to eject an electron. The displaced electron attaches itself to a nearby molecule, which then becomes a negative ion. It is the negative ion of oxygen that affects us most. Remember that feeling you've experienced near a waterfall or high in the mountains that we've already talked about? Those are two such places where thousands of negative ions occur. They create an effect on human biochemistry. The normal ion count in fresh country air is 2,000 to 4,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter, about the size of a sugar cube. At Yosemite Falls, you'll experience over 100,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter. On the other hand, the level is far below 100 per cubic centimeter on the Los Angeles freeway during rush hour. Research on ions began in the 1950s with Dr. Albert Kruger, Professor Emeritus at the University of California at Berkeley, and Dr. Felix Sulman, Professor of Pharmacology at the Hebrew University in Israel. So Dr. Kruger excited the scientific world when he discovered ions to be biologically active, stimulated production of the powerful chemical serotonin, so 5-HT. Serotonin is a very active neurohormone, which a lot of us know a lot about now, which causes profound neural glandular and digestive effects throughout the body. So serotonin is really, really important to us. Dr. Solomon, or Solomon uh, corroborated Dr. Kruger's findings while studying positive ion victims of the hot, dry, there's the name of a desert that I can't even say, but basically hot, dry desert near Jerusalem. Um, and it's just rampant with positive ions. So he demonstrated three effects of positive ion excess. They are irritation and tension, exhaustion, and hyperthyroid response. So most of these conditions, along with the symptoms of depression, anxiety, headaches, and low energy, physical and mental functions, were shown to be alleviated or totally eliminated by increasing the negative ion count in the air. So they were able to prove that exposure to negative ions helps us overcome the negative effects of positive ions. So 
While ionization of the air is mandatory in Europe and Russian hospitals and workplaces, it's only recently become uh, come to light here in the United States with the growing problem of toxic air in our urban environments. So we have multiple things here at Awesome that produce negative ions. These uh, heating pads that you're laying on. We also have the salt rooms, the halo cabins that produce negative ions. The blue belt also produces large numbers of negative ions. So we have lots of ways for you to get negative ions into your body here at Awesome. So I hope that you have enjoyed learning a little bit more about the science behind each of these therapies that you're using right at this moment, hopefully, which are zero gravity, infrared heat, and negative ions. And now you know a little bit more. If you'd like to know even more, please see our binders in the relaxation lounge. And I hope you have an awesome day.